Today, I'm going to share with you the secret that many planting box manufacturers don't want you to know, and that is how long these really last. In fact, these two blue ones I've had for five years, and this uh, tan or brown one I've had for literally, uh, I think, 10 or 11 years now, and it's still holding up. Even these cheaper made ones I've had for the better part of six or seven years. Um, but the key is, is to get the sturdy ones, you know, the ones with the lip around them. Uh, these ones here, they don't last as long. As you can see, sure, they've lasted six years, but that is what uh, you want. Because many places recommend to replace them after two or three seasons. And really, if you were buying a bunch of containers every two or three seasons, that's just simply unreasonable. Especially if you have food grade five gallon buckets or other containers that you plant on. Those can last years until they literally start to break down from the UV rays of the sun. Now, I wouldn't grow really anything that's food out of these after about six or seven years because the plastics do start to break down into the soil, but they're still perfectly fine for things like flowers uh, and the other other plants that you plan on growing, especially these more sturdy resin type, hold up to the sun much better. This is look, this has been outside for 10 years, basically non-stop, and it's still a great planter. It's not brittle, it's not breaking. In fact, I grew uh, to a tomato in this last year. So it's wise to shop around and get, pay slightly more to get a better quality container because containers are not cheap. Like this whiskey barrel container here, I expect this to last for some time, at least another uh, four, five, six, seven years. This is good construction, but this costs like 15 or uh, $16. So if you need to like five or six of these, that can add up very quickly. And that's the same type of container I showed you over there. It's growing a blueberry in it and it's doing quite well. Um, this container is not brittle. Again, like I showed you, you just need to take care of your containers. If you put them into the winter, if you're not using them, uh, or if you have them in a more sunny location, it doesn't really matter because you buy quality first. That is the one thing you can keep in mind. But even if you didn't buy the highest of quality, like these containers here, I believe these ones were from Ross for like $6 a piece or $5 a piece. Uh, sometimes you just hit like a gold mine or something like that. So it's just a quick tip that I'd like to share with you. Don't throw your containers away after the first three, four years. You know, these can last double, sometimes even up to triple the amount of time. Now, some containers like these coca Cola, they'll naturally break down. And of course, you'll know that it's time to replace them. But things like hanging baskets, these should last even longer. But the key type thing to get is make sure it's food grade plastic and also these resin planters seem to work really really good. I know they sell them at like Costco, Lowe's, Home Depot, but these should last for more years than the plastic should, just the regular plastic. So it's just a quick tip to help you save you some money and I hope you got something out of it. But of course you need to make your own planting soil and things to put in here. And I'm going to share with you my DIY soil that costs literally only $3 a cubic foot. And you need to watch that video right here to get my secret recipe.